Hi, I'm Amanda McGarrigal, Assistant Manager for Respiratory Therapy at MUSC. Today I want to talk about carbon monoxide found in cigarette smoke. Carbon monoxide is a poisonous gas, the same thing you find that comes out of your car. It is also found in cigarette smoke. When you inhale carbon monoxide from a cigarette, it travels through your lungs and into your blood where it binds with hemoglobin. Your hemoglobin is what normally carries oxygen throughout your body. However, when you breathe in carbon monoxide, it has a bond 200 times stronger to your hemoglobin than oxygen does, which makes it hard for any oxygen to get to your body. These lower levels of oxygen cause a lot of problems to your body. It causes you to become more out of breath, especially during physical activity. You may feel more tired and it may be harder to concentrate. Your heart has to work harder and beat faster to try and compensate for this lack of oxygen. This puts you at risk for heart damage. When carbon monoxide binds to your hemoglobin, it creates carboxyhemoglobin, which causes your blood to thicken. This thicker blood causes your blood pressure to increase and also increases your risk of heart attack and stroke. Today we're gonna to do a breath test to measure the amount of carbon monoxide in a smoker's blood. This is our volunteer, Charlie Dosher. He's a smoker and we're going to measure what his carbon monoxide levels are. What I'm gonna have you do is take a nice big deep breath and hold it for 15 seconds. Then I'm gonna have you blow into the machine and it's gonna take a reading of your carbon monoxide levels. Take a deep breath in and hold it. Now exhale slowly through the machine until your lungs are empty. As you can see on the screen, his level is 14 parts per million, which is about 2.24% of his hemoglobin that has carbon monoxide and does not allow oxygen to get to his body. Carbon monoxide takes about 24 hours to completely leave the body. So if our volunteer were to quit smoking today, by this time tomorrow, his oxygen levels would return to normal. I'm Amanda McGarrigal, Assistant Manager for Respiratory Therapy at MUSC.